back to the IGTV or Barbell Medicine YouTube channel, wherever you're catching this. This is training from yesterday, I guess that was uh, the 28th of June. Get some high bar squats, touch and go bench press, dumbbell incline. I'm um, trying to do some higher volume stuff uh, during this block. It's more of a developmental kind of thing. Just try to get some uh, good hypertrophy gains, um, get back to uh, uh, developing a bunch of strength, and then later on we'll do some more specialization stuff with uh, singles and higher intensity stuff. But we're just uh, accumulating some volume here, and you can notice that a lot of the exercise selection is less specific to the power lifts. Um, that's for a number of reasons, mainly uh, to try to keep myself interested in training right now when I don't have meat coming up, and I definitely think that uh, building some more muscle mass is going to help me um, actually set some some PRs. Uh, the other thing is I actually have been doing um, a decent amount of high bar squats lately, mainly because this hand thing, it's 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 healed now, but uh, I had a problem holding the bar in the low bar position, so I'm only reintroducing it once per week now, um, so that way I can uh, uh, slowly work it back in over time and, and not uh, over overdo it. So let's hop into the video and I'll uh, talk you guys through it. So. First, oh, some beautiful B-roll uh, using PeriRx. So this is PeriRx with uh, caffeine, and I do take that um, before my training sessions, mainly because it's got 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's on the low end of the ergogenic dose for me, which if you look at the literature is three uh, to nine milligrams per kilo uh, body weight. But um, So this is at the three end, and uh, I use that uh, pretty regularly on uh, sessions I actually care about. Now this is me doing high bar squats, and uh, I don't love these. Here, here's what I don't like. One, it's really hard for me to get my thoracic spine extended, and I would like to get my elbows down a little bit more. So this is my second set of eight here at 365. Um, I went up before this to 405 and did that for a set of eight, uh, but the video is actually almost unusable. So uh, in any event, this is my second set, 365 for eight. Depth is good, uh, foot position is good. I just would like to do better with my thoracic spine. Here's a little bit better. I would have liked to keep my elbows down more you, know, you can kind of see that little pitch going on there and I think what it is I'm actually trying to stay a little too upright um, during the descent and so you see the movement and, and later on in the set it actually gets a little better but I still think I could set my upper back a little better that that one was okay I'm uh, pretty untrained when it comes to high bar squats I just never have really done them since I started squatting but uh, again my best is 550 with the high bar so Here's my last set, this is my fourth set of eight, and these are pretty okay. Again, I do have a kyphosis, and I'm not necessarily concerned with my thoracic spine. I just am really trying to work on getting my elbows down a little more. Uh, that's been something I've been struggling with uh, pretty much my entire lifting career, and so we'll keep working on it. I think this and safety squat bar squats will tend to help, uh, but a lot of it's my anthropometry, too. I have long arms, and I have a really kyphotic spine, and that's just how, how it goes, so that's my cross to bear. I like people are like, you can fix this with this and this and this exercise. It's like, dude, I've been trying for years and uh, so we're just gonna work around it. Uh, so now we're going to the touch and go bench. This is 315, this is my first set of eight. Um, yeah, what you see here is uh, a pretty standard touch and go bench press. Um, I'm keeping my shoulders back nice and uh, nice and tight. I don't know why I paused that rep because I thought that was eight. Leah just now informs me that that was seven and graciously gives me another lift off to finish this last rep. Yeah, I can't count. You guys know that. <laughs> uh, here's my second set of eight. So you can watch my setup a little bit. I usually spot my hands on the bar first and then I'll tend to do this little arch thing right there to set my upper back. I try to place my traps and shoulders against the bench, squeeze that back tight, push my chest up and go to town here. One of the keys I like to use on touch and go bench press is uh, because I don't want to really bounce the bar hard off my chest, you know, there's some point where it becomes egregious. Um, it, I try to think about just kissing my chest with the barbell, uh, that I, I don't want to slam the bar into there. Um, something that may help you if you notice that you uh, bounce uh, maybe a little too much. And the other thing is you don't want to slow it down so much on the way down that you lose the stretch reflex. So there's a happy medium there, you know. Um, all right, here's my last set, third set of eight. I'm just a bro. So 315 for a couple sets of eight. I think I ended up doing four, yeah, four sets of eight. Um, I think my PR for a set of eight is like 340 on flat bench. And again, I don't know why I paused that rep. My pause bench and touch and go bench are about the same. So 
Uh, oh good, I took my shirt off, I forgot about this. Uh, so I did some dumbbell incline work at the end. This is one notch lower than the incline I did in the last training session. These are the hundreds, I'm doing them for 12s, and I'm real serious. Now, I'm watching this, I probably, you know, that's okay. That's actually okay. I probably would have spent another second at lockout just to really extend here. Oh, ooh, dramatic close-up. Well, this is what happens when you lift heavy for a number of years and you have what some call favorable genetics uh, for body composition, but maybe less favorable genetics for body hair. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I ended up doing four sets of 12 with the 100. That's the heaviest dumbbells that we have, so we're gonna have to get some plate-loaded stuff, I think, in order to buy heavier dumbbells. Uh, but anyway, that was my training session from this past Thursday. We're gonna train again, or yeah, so yesterday. We'll train again today, we'll get some more footage for you guys. Hopefully you find these voiceovers useful. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you should do that. If you're not checking us out on IGTV, you should do that. And you can follow me on Instagram at Jordan underscore Barbell Medicine. You can find us at barbellmedicine.com. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. See you later.